Last week at Belladanis, Matthew McNall, Matthew Elder's high school law class, held two mock trials with their students. Bellwood's law class has been staging mock trials since right before COVID-19 back in 2020, with McNall as its teacher. This year is Elder's first time getting to participate in the trials. It gives the class um, hands-on experience with kind of everything we've been talking about. So we kind of went through what lawyers do, how to write opening statements and things like that. And, you know, this actually gives them kind of the practical experience with that. The trials took place in both teachers' classrooms during the school day and were not open for the school to watch. Students took the roles of either a witness or a lawyer, and extra students sat in as jurors who ultimately decided the verdicts. And so I went, without stopping. The first trial taking place in McNall's room was about a student accused of setting fireworks off in his school locker. It was very well known by the coach and the rest of the neighborhood when the cops were called for excessive drinking and partying, so I thought it was pretty unfair. The second trial dealt with a driver accused of reckless driving after he hit a child crossing the street on his bike. During this trial, the law class used a wheelchair provided by the nurse as a prop to make the scene feel more realistic. You made the turn, you compared your turn to turn the equivalent to make, is that correct? Yes. Brooke Hescox, a lawyer for the trials, was glad to have had the opportunity to be put in an attorney's shoes. Probably could have done a little better. Um, our witnesses, some of them backfired on us, but you know, at the end, I think we pulled through. In the end, both teachers were impressed by the trials and were proud of the quality effort their students put into them. Yeah, I mean, I'm really happy my classes won more of the trials than the other class, so we kicked their butts. Um, but also, you know, everyone did a really, really good job. In the end, the defendant of the first trial was found guilty on one charge, while the charges were dropped in the second trial due to the jury being unable to come to a conclusion. Are you ready to proceed? Yes, Your Honor. I'm Kate Wallace, signing off for the BA Blueprint.